it. It's so great. Thank you. Now, it's different <clears throat> from your other records. How would you say it's different? What's the main difference with it? Well, the big difference is just, you know, the energies, you know, have changed on it. I mean, right now it's, um, it's a more broad, like, life for me. Like, everything is, it looks like what it's supposed to look like. And I look like what I'm supposed to look like. And I feel like what I want to, always wanted to feel. Like, I have a peace of mind. You know, I'm work I'm not totally at peace, but, you know, I'm working towards it. And that's what this album is, you know. Everything that came in, came in through the energy that I put out. And I put out, you know, I was trying to put out really good things. So I got good people like Aretha. Yeah, Aretha Lauren, Franklin, Lauren Hill, um, come on. I saw Elton you John. with Lauren Hill when she was touring. You came out and did a number with her, blew the house away. Yeah. Have you known her for a while? Is she a good friend? I knew, I met Lauren for, I mean, I knew her for a couple of years, but not as well as I know her now. Like now I really know her, you know, and I really like her a lot. I do, too. She's really a great person. Yeah. Did you feel intimidated working with Aretha Franklin? It must have been a little... Well, I mean, I was a little nervous, but, um, you know, I have nothing but love and respect for Aretha, so I, I wasn't intimidated. I was just like, like, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, I couldn't believe that she was actually in my session doing, you know, a record with me. But, I, I mean, I was a little nervous. Yeah, yeah. Because I, she's, you know, her, she's like a really powerful woman you know yeah she's a legend I yeah mean, she's this doesn't get better than that right i was a little nervous right right yeah i would have been very nervous <laughs> i don't even sing she was here i was nervous frankly <laughs> because she's just there's something about her it's like you know the cream of the crop so to speak yeah she's the queen and definitely your mom well your was your mom there when you sang with her my mother came to the studio she asked if she come to meet aretha when she got there she just had to leave she just went out and started crying i was like oh no i never seen my mother like that before because you know she's the tough one that, that she's the one we look up to and the one that taught us how to survive and be strong and to see her cry over Aretha Franklin was like you know because she don't you know she don't right, do right, that right but um it was special because that is that you know that's their girl you know what I mean that's the one that they had to listen to when they were going through whatever they were going through mm -hmm. now who else influenced you when you were young who did you listen to I listened to Shaka Khan is like one of my main like main influences along with Aretha Stevie Wonder is a big, 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 I mean, everybody. I mean, everyone that my mother played, Otis Redding, Sam Cooks, um, Shirley Brown, Gospel Shirley Caesar. Um, Did she encourage you, your mom, to be a singer? Did she say, you know, good for you, go for it? Or was she a little reticent to get in? Well, nobody, like, nobody really knew, or nobody even, you know, my mother was always behind me and what about, she just wanted me to finish school. Right. So, I mean, this came out of nowhere when it came you know, everybody got behind me, you know, and they were always behind me. But um, it just came out of nowhere, and she was like, you know, she's happy. And I'm just married to them. You know, I'm just like Mary. That's Mary. Exactly. Mary, 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 whatever. Better. Let Mary do what she wants to do. And she's the biggest influence in your life, your mom. Yes, she is. She taught me how to be a survivor. She raised us alone. How so many kids in your family? It's four of us now, but it used to just be my sister and myself. Right. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't easy growing up, I take it. Nah. No. It was, I mean, we, we you know, we, we weren't starving. My mother had a job. Good. You know, and she, she raised us and taught us, you know, good things. And um, it's all paying off now. I remember things she told me then. Now I use it, you know. Right. Sometimes it's hard when you're a teenager when all you want to do is rebel, you know. Yeah. I was watching MTV and I saw the public service announcement that you do that I thought was so great because, you know, kids often don't listen to their parents when they tell them right. they should um, watch what they do and the decisions they make today are going to affect their lives tomorrow. But coming from you, I think it, you really reached a lot of kids when you did that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my, you know, growing up, I mean, it's the truth. You, you don't want to hear, don't do this, don't do that. You just want to do it. So you have to experience it for yourself. I'm just glad to be a part of anything that could, you know, save a life or stop a kid from doing drugs because, you know, it's no joke once you get older and you still do, you know, you're still there doing it. Your mind, your mind state, you're just not right. So anything that could help, I just want to help. Yeah, and the I kids, think... please don't do the drugs, no, please. No, I mean, you're right, and I think it was so effective. Mm. It really, really touched me when I was watching it. Mm, thank you. Now, I hear that you're um, studying, or did you already get your high school equivalency? Because you did drop out of high school, right? Right. Yeah. I'm studying for my GED right oh, now. Oh, you're good yeah. for you. I'm practicing. My um, tutor, she has me in practice for right now. Right. Because, mm. you know, I never graduated from college, and I think that mm. I'd, I'd like to go back and get my degree, because part of me always feels a little bit embarrassed that yeah. I didn't, you know, yeah, I don't know bit. why. Did you find that? With, is that why you're going to go get it? No, I mean, the reason why, I mean, I'm a little embarrassed when I'm sitting somewhere and someone says something, I'll be like, well, what, is, what are you talking about? What, what, what's that? What word is that? that? Exactly. So stupid. So it's a lot of things that I need to learn yeah. right now. And I also want to do it because my mother always wanted me to graduate just from high school.
that's all she ever wanted, you know. And you're going to give that to her now? Yeah, I'm going to give her that. And to TV. yourself. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful thing. I really think it is. Well, I have a friend who went to Harvard, and she does the New York Times crossword puzzle in pen. Mm. Mm. Mary J, I feel like this big sitting next to her, you know? I couldn't find the puzzle in the New York Times. Can you believe that? It's all right. It's sad, though, Mary. But it's, it's all right. It's okay. We can no, change it. Congratulations on the Grammy nomination. Thank you. Are you excited about that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm nervous. You're going to be there? Yeah, I'm going to be there. Yeah, have you planned what you'd say if you're going to win? Have you planned it all? Um, well, I mean, if I win anything, I'll just, you know, thank the Lord first because, I mean, I've come a long way to having three Grammy nominations for work, you know, for the best R&B album. That's a big deal to have the Grammy people watching you like exactly. that. Exactly. So I would thank God for just people even liking me or listening to me or just my music, you know, forget liking me. But if you like my music, you know what I'm saying? But you know I like you too, and I'm happy that you're on the show without Thank sunglasses you, now. Because the first two or three times you did it, you only wore sunglasses. Now you got you like me better, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I knew it, Mary J. Blige. Thank you. I love the CD. It's beautiful. So are you. Go buy it. Watch her at the Grammys. We'll be right back after this.